the so-called abyss of the deep sea, begins at 1,000 meters 3 to 80.84 feet below the surface. No sunlight reaches here. The pressure is immense. More than half of Earth's surface is covered by this vast, unexplored chasm. It wasn't until 88 years ago that humans first ventured to its edge. And even today, we've explored only about 1% of this region. So what incredible secrets lie hidden in the abyss? Today, we're diving into the deep. And along the way, we'll uncover a secret buried deep within the genetic code. Welcome to Enigma Files. At 800 meters, 264.67 feet underwater, lies the mesopelagic zone, where the last traces of light still linger. And here, we spot a pair of extraordinary eyes, belonging to the telescope fish. But in the pitch black depths of the ocean, how do these eyes track their prey? At first, scientists were just as baffled. But in 2001, something remarkable was captured. A telescope fish, 1,214 meters 3, 982.94 feet below the surface. It turns out these fish float vertically in the deep. Their telescope-like eyes are always pointed upward toward the water surface. Why? Because even in the abyss, the last fading rays of sunlight from above can cast a shadow when a fish swims overhead. And the moment that shadow appears, the telescope fish strikes, biting down with an unrelenting grip. In the deep sea, food is scarce. Every meal is a battle. That's why deep sea fish have evolved some of the most bizarre teeth imaginable. Take Malacostius niger, for example, commonly known as the black dragonfish. Its jaw completely unhinged, not even attached to its head by flesh. When it opens wide, it snaps shut like a mousetrap. But if the mousetrap strategy isn't extreme enough, some fish take a different approach. The vacuum strategy meets Styleferus chordatus, better known as a two-by or thread tail. When it attacks, its mouth extends in an instant, creating a powerful suction that pulls prey straight inside. No one has captured this in action yet, but theoretically, it works just like the ambush blenny, the pibulus insidiator, which can snap open its mouth like a slingshot to vacuum up prey. But what if you combine the mousetrap strategy and the vacuum strategy? Then you get one of the deep sea's most legendary predators, the pelican eel. With one enormous gulp, it opens its cavernous mouth, catching its prey completely off guard. The abyss is full of monsters, and we've only just begun to uncover their secrets. Next, let's take a look at a cuter deep sea contender, the barrel eye, also known as a spook fish. Its two telescope-like eyes are positioned right on top of its head. Clearly, this is another adaptation to detect shadows from above, but unlike other deep sea predators, it swims horizontally and doesn't have a mousetrap jaw or a vacuum mouth. So does it have an entirely different hunting strategy? Some scientists once speculated. Maybe when it spots prey, it slowly swims to a parallel position, then rotates its eyes forward to lock onto the target before swallowing a hole. But let's be honest, that seems a bit overcomplicated. By the time it swims over and adjusts its gaze, the prey would have already escaped, unless the prey doesn't move. But in the deep sea, what kind of prey doesn't move? This led to another theory. Look at the protective shield over its head. It's filled with liquid. Could this somehow be part of its hunting strategy? If so, then the barrel eye might actually be a thief. Imagine this. It scans the water above, and when it spots a trap prey, one that's already caught by a siphonophore, a type of deep sea jellyfish with stinging tentacles, the barrel eye simply swims up and steals a meal. Why don't other creatures dare to do the same? Because siphonophores have venomous tentacles. But the barrel eye's liquid-filled shield protects its eyes from being stung. We'll have to wait for scientists to capture footage of its hunting behavior to know for sure. Another creature that falls into the cute category is the banded piglet squid. This little guy goes to great lengths to stay hidden. It has evolved its body into a miniature submarine, filling it with ammonia to regulate buoyancy. Its fin-like structures work like tiny propellers, propelling it through the deep sea. Its eyes and tentacles have developed to appear elusive, blending into the abyss. However, there's one problem. It has a digestive gland that simply can't turn transparent. So what does it do? It lights up by generating its own glow. It erases any shadows and perfects its disguise as a fully invisible deep sea submarine. We've explored the cloak of invisibility, but deep sea creatures have more tricks up their sleeves. The second weapon is the luring trap. One of the most famous users of this tactic is the anglerfish. With a tiny lantern dangling in front of its massive mouth, it flashes and flickers to attract unsuspecting prey, 
an eerie yet effective method of survival. But the anglerfish has an even more bizarre second form. Some species grow glowing filaments all over their bodies, transforming themselves into floating, bioluminescent carnival floats. Others take on a third form, lying motionless on the seabed with just a single glowing lure, waiting for prey to come too close. Despite its monstrous appearance, the anglerfish possesses one of the most mind-blowing survival strategies in the deep sea, the king of kept men. After mating, the male fuses permanently with the female's body, becoming nothing more than a living reproductive organ. Beside the anglerfish, another deep sea predator, the deep sea dragonfish Grammatostomia flagella barba, also wields a power of light. Unlike the anglerfish, its lantern is not positioned in front of its mouth, but hangs from its chin. In a deep sea expedition in 2016, scientists captured a live deep sea dragonfish. In previous encounters, researchers had only observed two small red glowing spots beneath its eyes. However, when examined in the lab using advanced imaging equipment, something astonishing was revealed. Behind the red lights were two hidden blue glowing spots, synchronized with the movement of its fins. But surprises didn't end there. Under controlled conditions, the dragonfish lit up its entire body. The whole fish glowed in the dark, an unexpected and eerie sight. Was this bioluminescence used as a luring mechanism, or was it meant to intimidate predators? Scientists curly leaned toward the latter theory, believing the dragonfish's ability to light up its whole body serves as a fearsome intimidation weapon against threats in the deep sea. This mesmerizing jellyfish, resembling a revolving scenic lamp, is called the comb jelly, and compared to the banded piglet squid, it's on an entirely different level. It has 100% transparency camouflage. But here's the interesting part. Those dazzling rainbow-like lights? They're not produced by the jelly itself. They're just reflections. However, when scientists turn off the external lights, something astonishing happened. The comb jelly began to emit its own glow, shimmering in different colors, like a floating dream in the deep sea. Despite its name, the comb jelly isn't actually a jellyfish. It has no venomous tentacles and is considered a peaceful creature. But when scientists analyzed its DNA, they made a groundbreaking discovery. Almost every living organism on Earth today carries traces of the comb jelly's DNA. In other words, it is a common ancestor of nearly all life forms on our planet. This creature has been around for over 600 million years. Can you believe it? 600 million years ago, we looked like this. Its body is 95% water. Its wing-like lobes reflect light and it can glow to attract unsuspecting prey. Once a small animal gets too close, its outer skin folds inward, essentially engulfing its prey whole, trapping it inside its body. A hunting method so primitive, yet so effective. And here's another mind-blowing fact. The comb jelly has something that most jellyfish lack, a brain. It's actually a gravity-sensing organ, allowing it to navigate its dark surroundings. Even more astonishing, if this brain is removed, it can regrow within three days. It also has eyes, not like ours, but specialized light detecting proteins, similar to the ones it uses to glow. But even in the deep sea, where it seems untouchable, the comb jelly has a natural enemy, a bizarre, shrimp-like parasite called Phronima, completely transparent, 100% camouflaged, armed with claws. It doesn't hunt in the traditional way. Instead, it lets itself be eaten on purpose like a biological virus. It infiltrates the comb jelly's body, then begins laying eggs inside it, turning the comb jelly into a living incubation chamber. The unseen world of the deep sea is truly beyond imagination, like stepping into an alien realm right here on Earth. Which deep sea creature fascinated you the most? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, tell me. We'll keep diving deeper, uncovering even stranger, mind-blowing mysteries of the deep sea.